The mantras are a powerful process but they need to be properly used, properly initiated. Improper usage of sounds, powerful sounds can cause serious problems. I happened to be in United States and uh, someone brought this lady to the program. It was a seven-day event and uh, she had lost her voice almost six or seven months or almost eight months before she came to me. Her voice totally gone. She's seen every doctor, every expert, voice gone. She can't speak a word. Simply empty air comes out when she tries to speak without any sound. They have not been able to detect anything improper with her vocal cords or whatever, everything is proper but she can't speak. So naturally when nothing is there, they will say maybe uh, there is a polyp, maybe there is this, maybe there is that, maybe you know all kinds of cortisones and this and that and somebody is suggesting a surgery, there is nothing else they want to open up and see. So they brought her to me and I looked at her and then I asked, did you do any practice? any spiritual process, did you do any mantras? Then I said, okay, you be in the program, let's see. So one day, two days, three days, she's becoming anxious because her voice has not come back and I have not said a word about her vocal cords. <laughs> so by fourth day she's very anxious. <laughs> then she came again and uh, I again asked her, did you do any mantras? When I looked at her, I thought she must have done something. When I looked at her, it's very clear to me she's done something. She said, no. Then I asked, did you come under the influence of some mantras? Did you go to some place where they're doing powerful mantras and did you come under the influence? She said, no. Last day she's very anxious. Then again I met her and uh, I said, see, you must have done something or you have come under the influence of some mantras. Tell me what have you done in the last year, year and a half, where all did you go? Then she said, uh, uh, I know she, she writes, she cannot speak. She said she did Gayatri. Oh, I said, where did you learn Gayatri? She said, I went to India and I bought a CD Whenever I'm going to work, you know, Atlanta traffic is such, she takes two and a half hours to reach her workplace and when she's stuck in the traffic, she'll do Gayatri like this. <laughs> when the traffic clears up when she's driving, she'll leave the Gayatri alone. When she has time, she'll just repeat with the thing. You know, she's an American person, you know how she will repeat the mantra. We don't know already the CD itself may be wrong. On top of it, she's American. Sanskrit, Sanskrit words will not come easy to her. No, no, I'm not commenting about America. If you have not spoken the vernacular language, to utter Sanskrit will be very difficult. So then uh, I knew that she's done messed up with Gayatri. I said, uh, see, three months if you come and stay with us in India, we will make an attempt, no guarantee, we will make an attempt and see. She came here and uh, we put her through a whole lot of process. In three months she recovered about seventy percent of her voice. Still thirty percent was not there. That is, thirty percent not there means I first of all put her on… said, don't make an attempt to speak. At the most in a day, maximum one hour you can speak, rest of the time no speaking. Slowly, slowly she improved. Even then if she gets emotionally excited, voice will go off. If she gets little emotional excitement, voice will go. In about one year's time, she recovered almost ninety percent. But still she found if she got angry, her voice will go. I said, that's good, <laughs> let it stay that way. <laughs> Whenever you're angry, at least you lose your voice. You don't say bad things at least. <laughs> so over three, three and a half years' time, she recovered almost hundred percent. Only very rare moments it would give up, but generally almost ninety-nine percent she recovered in about three, three and a half years' time of practice. So mantras need to be done with certain care, with proper instruction and guidance.